Hi friends, I know you want to use GPT-4 for free. You don't need to worry because in this video, I'm going to show you three good ways that you can use GPT-4 for free without paying anything. So right now, when you come over here, you can see that before you use GPT-4, you must actually upgrade to GPT Plus over here and you must pay $20 every month. But this method I'm going to show you, you are not going to pay anything, it's free of charge. In case today is the first time you are watching this channel, my name is Francis and what I do over here is I do digital marketing, blogging and also how to get any item online for free. And in today's video, we are going to access GPT-4 for free. So make sure you hit that like button as we get started. Now why do we need GPT-4? Let me come to chat GPT as I am here and let me put some prompts here. For example, what is the current CD to dollar rate in Ghana? So let me search it. And then ChatGPT is going to tell me, I apologize, but I don't have real-time data. This is why we need GPT-4, because GPT-4 has real-time data. And how do we access GPT-4 for free? Let's go into it. So the first way to do that is let's come to our browser, for example, let's search this extension that is called Merlin. So as you write mailing, it will come mailing AI extension. Make sure you search that extension. This is it right here. You can see mailing AI extension is the first result that appears here. Chat with mailing AI. Make sure you click on that one. So as you can see, it will open a page for you like this and it's asking you to add mailing chat into your browser. This is a browser extension, but you can see in this case, I've added it already or I've used it before. That is why my own is showing remove from Chrome. So your own will be showing add to Chrome. So you make sure you click on that add to Chrome that you are seeing right there and make sure you add this browser extension to your Chrome browser. So after adding it, make sure you come there to the top here and pin it down. So you can see I've pinned it down here. It's very important. Now I know you have done that. So let's continue now. So after adding the extension, let's set something right here in our browser or on Google. Let's set something like school. So you can see Google is going to display its results right here for me. But when I wait for some couple of seconds, Merlin AI is also going to display its results right here for me and it will be in GPT-4. So let's wait and see. So right now, as you are seeing on your screen, Merlin AI is writing right here for us. It's also giving us the same answer that Google has given us over here. But how do we know if we are using GPT-4 or not? You're going to come over here to the place that is saying start new chat and make sure you click on that one. And that is going to open like this. In case you don't use it before, it will ask you to sign in. So make sure you click that sign in button and sign in with your Google account. So right here, you can see this is using GPT 3.5 here, but we're going to change it to GPT 4 and use it for free. So it hits here and then you can see it has displayed several models over here or four models here. So let's select GPT 4. So click on it. And now everything has changed to GPT-4. So we cannot put in our prompt and see if the answer will come. Now I'm going to put the same thing I've placed in chat GPT and it was not able to give me the answer over here. But before you get the answer here, you must make sure you put this, you click on this to make Merlin access the web. It's very important because GPT-4 must access the internet. So now let me put in my prompt here and let's see in case we are using GPT-4 right here. So I've asked Merlin AI, what is the current CD to dollar rate in Ghana? Let's see if the result will come. So right now you can see Merlin AI has displayed the results for the current CD to dollar rate for me right here. You can see this is it here, CD to dollar rate, it has displayed right here for me. So it tells you that this particular AI can help you to use GPT-4 for free without paying anything and you can use it 51 times in every day 
so when you use it for that particular day you can see right now my queries over here is 17 is level 17 so when i finish i have to wait for another day to continue using it for free so that is about mailing ai you can use gpt4 over here for free without paying anything now let me take you to the second method of using gpt4 for free without paying anything and that method is going to blow your mind because it's completely free and it can also give you images so make sure you hit the like button before we move on so the next method i'm going to show you let's come over to our browser again and this time we are going to search bing ai so you just write bing ai right here and i'm going to show you a new way to access bing ai without passing through any long process So when you search Bing AI, you can see this is it over here that has come or this is a result here that has come. So what we're gonna do is to make sure we click on this. And then it will take us to the Microsoft Edge browser as you are seeing right here. And it's very important for you to have Microsoft account. If you don't have it, you don't need to worry. We're gonna use Bing over here right now. So let it load and let's see how we're gonna do it. So this is how it will come. And when it comes like this, what you need to do is to come to the top here that is saying chat and make sure you hit that chat. So when you click on the chat, it's going to take you over here. You can see Microsoft Bing. You have to wait for some couple of seconds and it will show us where to use GPT-4 right now. So after waiting for some seconds, you can see it has automatically opened the Bing chat for us here and Bing chat has access to GPT-4. So we can use GPT-4 over here for free without even going to the GPT+. Plus. So all that we got to do over here is let's put the prompt that we put into chat GPT and it was not able to give us the answer. Let's put it right here and see in case we are using GPT-4 or not. So I'm going to put the prompt here. So what is the current CD to dollar rate in Ghana? And let me search for it. And one best thing over here is that Bing is completely for free and it can also generate image for you. So this is the best part of Bing. So let us bring the result and let's see. So you can see right here, it has generated the answer for us that ChatGPT cannot do. So this is GPT-4. So you can go ahead and write your blog post over here. You can also do whatever thing that you want to do. You can ask it any question at all or you put in any query at all and it will generate the result for you, including images. So you can see right now it has displayed everything very nicely for us. So this is the second way to access GPT-4 without paying anything. Now the third way I'm going to show you is going to blow your mind because it's very easy to use. So make sure you hit the like button as we continue so let's come to our browser again and search p o e a i so you leave space and write a i p o e you leave space and write a i then let's search it and see this is it over here the first result that appears in search that is what we are looking for so we're gonna click on this and then it will actually take us to this particular website and when it come over here, what we need to do is to sign in with our email. So we just connect with Google over here. So continue with Google, you click on it. And then we're gonna select our Google account right here by clicking on it. So here we go, it has logged us in on this website, the POE AI right here. You can call it PO, I don't know how you want to call it anyway but you can call it whatever thing you want to call it. This particular AI has access to GPT-4, so you can use GPT-4 on this platform for free. So you can see it right here, GPT-4, so let's click on it. And one thing that you need to notice is that over here, you can only access it once in a day. So it's very good for you to write a prompt that can bring you benefit. For example, you want to generate a blog post, you can come over here and generate it because you can only use GPT-4 once in a day. So for example, let me write over here, write a blog post on, write a blog post on how to make money online. So let me just put in this, write a blog post on how to make money online. So let me put this in and GPT-4 is going to give me the blog post right here on this particular website. So it's very advisable for you to put in prompts that can bring you 
big results because you only use dpt4 over here once in a day so friends that is three ways that you can use gpt4 for free without paying anything and some of them are completely for free that is for pink but the first one i show you you use it 51 times for the free version in a day and this particular one too you will use it once in a day you can see it has generated the blog post for us now this is what i want you to do for me i want you to go to the comment section right there and tell me which one of the tools that you like and also make sure you check the description it's not any free stuff that i can teach on youtube so make sure you check the description and hit the link there to join our telegram group and i always share a lot of pro tools over there for you for easy access and also you use it for whatever thing that you want to use it for so make sure you hit the like button and the subscribe button and please make sure you share this video for everybody to see